the man least likely to have watched the Super Bowl, it's sack time. Roseanne Barr, Roseanne Arnold, Roseanne, whatever the hell your name is, you owe me bad, girl. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, girl. You owe me so bad because I wasted so much of my day coming to the taping of your wannabe talk show saying you're going to be bigger than Oprah. You're not even close, Roseanne. You're halfway in Cancelville. But yet, when I was in California, when I was Pasadena snack boy, I did go to the taping of your show. She's just as bitchy as you expect. Bitchier than, what's her name? Shannon Stewart. Maybe even bitchier than Martha Stewart, people. I would love to see Roseanne Barr and Martha Stewart in a celebrity death match. I'd love it! It begins, we're all excited to see Roseanne. All this, this comedian comes out and puts the audience in a great mood. We're like, yeah, we're going to see Roseanne. She's so bigger than life. She's so Vegas. <laughs> so out comes Roseanne, and we're all clapping. There she is! There's Rosie! Roseanne! Yay! She's like, quiet, everybody! Can you guys be quiet or something? I got a headache. I cannot believe it. Her voice is even more shrill and more annoying than I'd ever dreamed possible. People. More than I ever dreamed possible. But I wasn't through with Roseanne yet. I was so happy with her, but we all shut up. We were like, oh, we better stop clapping. Roseanne's in a bad mood. We better, ooh, ooh, ooh. We better stop clapping. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. She might get mad and kick our ass, 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 or kick her asses out of here. So anyway, she's like, hi, right, everybody, quiet. I'm trying to get in character for the show, people, please. That's better. <sighs> then Roseanne's face changed. We all could see it, the whole audience. Me and, you know, the second row, the first row, we were like, what's wrong with, oh, then we smelled it too. One of her cameramen farted, people started big, a quiet fart, but, but so smelly. And she said, oh, God. She's like, did you fart again? And he's like, I'm sorry, Roseanne. I'm sorry. She's like, I'm doing a show in five minutes, and I can't believe you fart. Ew. Ew. And we were like, gosh, Roseanne is really humiliating this guy. You know, Save your bad air for later. I pay you good money to film this damn show. Can't you keep your butt cheeks closed for a minute? Ew, you're polluting the air. And I, 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 was, I was so torn. Part of me is like, wow, well, Roseanne just calls the shots, baby. She says it how it is. And another part of me is like, but Roseanne, you're so mean. Don't be so darn mean, girl. Come on, back off the poor guy. All he did was let loose a little bit. All he did was let the perfume fly, people. It's built in. Roseanne, it's natural. We've all farted. You farted, Roseanne. Anyway. It got worse. He's like, I'm so sorry, Roseanne. Fine, don't let it happen. And we're on in four, three, two, one. And suddenly her mood shifted and the bitch got nice. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Roseanne Show. Oh, I love my studio audience. Hey, guys, give yourselves a hand. And we're like, maybe she's not so bad after all. Oh, welcome to my show, everybody. We got a lot of good guests and stuff. For you. And about two minutes later, it's time for the first commercial break. All right, we've got commercial in three, two, one. Can you audience members stop clapping? And again, her tone shifted. The woman was like civil. With every commercial break, she got meaner. And with every comeback from commercial, she got nicer. She was like taking Pakistan and cocaine and everything else. I was like, well, I'm not really saying she's on cocaine, but her her personality reflected such actions. I know you're saying to yourself, snack boy, don't judge poor Roseanne. She was a waitress. She was abused. She had such a hard life. Fall beef. Lick my balls, Roseanne. I don't have to put up with your crap commercial break. Can you audience members stop clapping? I've got a headache. And I couldn't take it. I burst out laughing. Her divaness, her sheer divahood just possessed me. I started laughing. And she's like, what are you laughing at? And I said, I'm sorry, Roseanne. I thought, I just think you're great. I, I love your whole diva thing. You're hilarious. And she's like, oh, am I funny to you? Am I a clone to you? That's right. Roseanne Barr was reenacting Goodfellas with me. It was a beautiful and at the same time very disturbing moment. I pictured Joe Pesci. Am I a clown to you? Am I amazing? With his annoying voice. And then Roseanne's annoying voice saying it in real life to me. Am I 
that clown? Am I just a joke? Well, you are rude, and I'm not going to have it. You keep laughing at me, and I'll kick you out of here. And I was like, I'm sorry, Roseanne. Well, yes, sorry, fine, but shut up. And when the show was over, we expected you to give us a wave or a buy or even a CD like Rosie O'Donnell gives her audiences. But no, Roseanne, when the show was over in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, your ass was out of there and you just so much as sneered. I want an apology and a goodbye, Roseanne. You can email me or you can get the message board at thesync.com and you can say goodbye. You owe me, Roseanne, and I would hate to uh, revenge.